Okay. Let me see who's here. Okay, guys, can, can you hear me? Don? Hello. Okay. Uh, Kevin, I'm going to close this call, okay? Hey, can anyone hear me? Yeah, Don, you're coming in good. Okay. Any okay. Okay. calls? What is... Can you hear me and can you see me, guys? You look yes, marvelous. Yes. Simply marvelous. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I I had a lot of issues with uh, with uh, Zoom. Somehow I could not. Okay, let me. There's people joining. Uh, go to meeting. Of course. I mean, this is this is gonna take a, a little. Do we want to go to? Uh... Go to meeting? Uh, no, 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 no. Let me move the people to, to go, go to meeting to Zoom. Is there a way to do that? I mean, I mean, just telling them to come over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give me just one second here. And who is the voice of God again? <laughs> it's Kevin. Hey, Don. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> um. So I guess we need to be more proactive in our announcements to people um, on these calls. Uh, and that's not a criticism. It's it's more of a, what do we need to do to be more proactive so that people um, Yeah, we need to uh, make sure that, I mean, the transition is always gonna be a little challenging, right? Yeah, so now, a couple of things that were confusing when I did sign in, it said that the meeting was scheduled for 2030. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, which, which made me wonder if I was in the, the right, you know, frame of mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure why that was being, it's basically there was, the room was locked for some reason, but all of the rooms have been set out at the 2030 and that's the intent is so that you can come and go as you need. There's no need to to start okay. a meeting or logging. I mean, just logging into the room should start the call. So it not, a, I kind of figured it was something like that, but uh, these are other things that um, just wanted to make sure that, um, yeah. So I will probably be um, <clears throat> in support of your call next week, Cosimo, the, the ACF call. Mm -hmm. With your permission, I'll be uh, launching something on uh, uh, LinkedIn with the new email address, or is it, you okay with that? No, yeah, no, we have to do that. Absolutely. I, I will do that as well, and uh, I will encourage everybody to do to use their LinkedIn to, to, to share this, yeah. this link and, and make sure that um, so, and then separately, uh, before tomorrow's call with CE, I did get some positive leadership from Steve Mills that the OCP TCS is a wonderful topic and we just need to move forward like it is an approved topic and seek insights and whether or not you choose to do polling is up to you. I no, no, I mean, it, it, I, I, I don't. <laughs> Again, uh, let's 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 talk about that in in in. Yeah, in, I, yeah uh, I understand, and I don't want to. I know we got to focus on the uh, um, heat reuse, which is the sister in hand. Kevin, I'm going to be dropping a note to you after this call, or after we get this call cleaned up on um, uh, work stream invites and email invites. Um, Sounds good. I'm okay. So of course, there's not many people here. <laughs> today i'm sorry so let me stop sharing first of all um is there anyone besides you and the three of us the, the, i'm here are... don oh it's okay. lucas there we go lucas how are you doing sir good how are you uh, i haven't talked to you in a while yeah. And there's, there's still I, I on the other on the other screen I actually have the go to meeting open 
and and I can still uh, see that um, some people are, are still there. And if you are in the go to meeting, uh, we move that on Zoom, and the link is in the chat. And people keep joining the go to meeting. <laughs> So one of the uh, issues is that a lot of people were using older versions of Zoom. I initially had it set so you had to update and that was causing its own layers of uh, issues. So I turned that off, but now you have an issue. What now what's happening is, is people can't get into the room because they're not, got, they don't have a newer version of Zoom. So that's a lot of times what you're seeing. Cosmo, that's what you were running into and like what other people might be running into too. So, yeah. So uh, again, guys, if you are on GoToMeeting, the the call they they move to Zoom, and I've, I've I've been posting in the link in the chat the, the link to join the calls on Zoom. I don't know what we can um, actually do today, other than <laughs> be patient <laughs> and waiting for the people to join the call. So I I I say, Michael, welcome back from from Greece, Angela. Thank you. Nice to have you. <laughs> so, I, Lucas, if you don't mind being put on the podium for a moment, what is your interest in objectives in this kind of a call? I'm very interested in your perspective. Um, along with you know everyone else in the industry, um, we are looking at um, how we can deploy or I mean, for, from my perspective, understanding um, where the industry is moving. Um, in terms of uh, position on heat re reuse. Um, it's something that, you know, we have operations in Europe. Um, we are generally putting in connections for heat reuse over there, but, you know, there's obviously challenges in actually being able to take the step from providing the ability to reuse heat to actually be uh, implementing it, which has got a lot of external factors. So, yeah, just um, wanting to be Wanting to be involved, contribute as I can, um, but I've I've had spotty availability lately, so I haven't joined so much. Well, I appreciate it, but from your perspective, I mean, uh, you identified Europe, and obviously Germany has some great potential because they mm -hmm. may or may not be making it into a law very shortly. <laughs> has that been confirmed? I think it passed, right? We, any status on the the uh, law status in Germany? Is it uh, still going forward, or um, is it still under evaluation? Anybody? I think it was approved. Yeah, I think it was approved actually, passed the at, at least the first. But I mean, I'm not. But but Lucas, who are you with? What are you? Uh... Vantage data centers. Vantage, Vantage. Okay, okay. So uh, the the new law was. Uh, I don't know if it was passed or not. Uh, I know there was a new version of it came out, which is different from all the previous versions that we've seen before. So our team internally is, um, not myself, is looking at that and what it means. But, uh, and, and it's not just heat reuse. It, there's a lot of, lot of stuff involved in there. Yeah, no, of course. But so, it's, it's um... changed from draft to draft to draft. Let me say, guys, if you are on the go to meeting, the the call has been moved to Zoom, and I've been posting in the chat the link to join the call. I I, I see Otto, you are in the call. Melissa, you are in the go go to meeting call. If you click on the on the chat link, you should be able to join our Zoom call. And, and for the people in the Zoom call already, again, today is going to be a, a, a little challenging because people keep joining the old link. That was our our fault. Uh, apologize, we didn't do a, a good job in uh, uh, in sharing that that we transitioned to Zoom. It's a fantastic news, all things considered, because of course Zoom is a much better tool. But it's going to take a, a little bit for uh, for people to get used to. Um, do we want to start maybe with a little update about the the, the work stream? I, I I see Mark and um, and David are are here and 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 they are probably the, the two most active work stream and uh, Mark designs and and David the legislation. Uh, what do you think, uh, Mark and David? Uh, I'm happy to provide a quick update if that would be helpful, Cosimo. 
Yeah, I mean, again, today there's not, uh, it's going to be a little challenging, not too many people, but uh, for the people that are here, I mean, we want to use their, their time in a good way. Sure. Um, well, uh, uh, we had a, had a call a couple of weeks ago, which I thought was our second call. We reviewed an extremely rough draft of uh, uh, the white paper, and I thought we had about we had about twice as many people on that last call as we did on the first call. So, uh, including quite a few people who are already on this call. Um, and uh, I thought we got some excellent input both in the call and then some, we've circulated the draft since then. So if uh, happy to take any comments uh, uh, and uh, that people may have, uh, best thing would be to take a look at the draft and provide anything in writing. And I can stick my email address in the, chat. So if anybody uh, wants to weigh in on that, that's good. And our goal here is just to simply keep producing uh, or now uh, aiming at the next call, uh, which I want to say Cosmo is going to be on the 22nd, that we would have a uh, an updated draft that we could re review with people, which obviously we can, again, do both on the call and then circulate the draft. Uh, hopefully we'll get that out in advance of the call and people can uh, have it take take a look at that. I, I thought it was uh, a very good conversation. And uh, as I say, we've gotten lots of good input, um, but could still benefit from more. Uh, we did actually talk about that uh, German legislation, which at least at the time had not passed. It was uh, in the phase of being an updated version. Um, and a lot of the examples that we have are from uh, of possible uh, good policies are from Europe, uh, but uh, where I think people wanted to see if we could have examples. Uh, we were going to incorporate one from one of the earlier presentations about Canada, uh, the project which I believe was in Quebec, where the uh, province offered some incentives. So we'll incorporate an example like that one. And, uh, and of course, if there are others anywhere else in the world, but uh, certainly good ones in the United States, also helpful, but Europe obviously doing a lot of leadership as people were just alluding to. Can you maybe share here in the in the chat box the link for the document and uh, as you mentioned your email and, uh, and, yep. and I, I I don't know again that there's not many people in, in this call today but I don't know what David has been working on but it's, a, it's essentially a, a framework of the legislations that that are currently available in as I mentioned in North America to facilitate yeah, I should the, say yeah. I'm happy to say, Cosmo, you know, sort of our our three parts that we're trying to cover in this white paper are one uh, to uh, kind of make the case that data center waste heat reuse is good and there's a big opportunity here and therefore a need for policy. Um, and then to kind of identify barriers uh, that we see that uh, along with uh, policies that may be uh, helpful to that. Um, I think we learned in the last call, we had initially thought maybe we could put those two things together. And I think it's going to be easier to write something up that says, here's a set of barriers that people are facing as they try to do this. Uh, and here are some policies separately to say, here are some policies that are helpful. And the kind of uh, suggestion we got uh, in the last call was to organize those uh, in part by the sort of types of policies they are uh, as I forget who was saying this before, Germany's policy is a requirement uh, or there's an aspect of it that's gonna be a requirement if it passes. Uh, so we might put that in a separate category from things that are more incentive based. Um, uh, so I think we'll do, we'll have it sorted. And then finally, the other thing which people we're gonna include in the paper are thoughts about who are people with whom we need to engage. And that could include other people who might be potential allies. I think there's, uh, Cosmo, you've been a fan of thinking about how we would more effectively engage people actually within the data center industry itself, especially on the government affairs or, or senior management side, um, uh, as well as policymakers. We heard, for example, how important it is to hear, uh, to talk, for example, in the United States to people at public utility commissions that regulate uh, yes. uh, both electricity and gas use. Give me just one second. Guys, if you are on GoToMeeting, if you're going in the chat, there's the link for the Zoom call. We are now using Zoom. 
I see uh, George and uh, and David. You are in in the in the GoTo meeting. Meeting. Please transition to the Zoom. David, welcome. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hey, Otto. Yeah, yeah. Real quick question, David. First, uh, thanks for for your leadership in this. Second, um, um, the meeting that you said is the twenty second. Is there like an invite for that? I I somehow fell off of that, or and probably for others too to know. Uh, there is. I am not the keeper of the invite. Uh, uh, I don't know, Cosmo, whether that's you or Jaime that. Uh, does that but um there it, is sorry sorry I, I i actually was reading uh, uh some people have issues uh, joining the, this call because uh, it, it asking for a code that i don't have Otto, could you please uh ask the question oh, again yeah uh, trivial, uh, trivial for for the upcoming meeting do we just find that invite on the uh, uh heat reuse page or yeah Yes, yes. So uh, um, we will do a, a few things. We will send out a, a, an email to the people that are part of the mailing list with, with, with the new Zoom link. Uh, we will, of course, it's already the, the, the calendar in the OCP official website is already updated with this link, but no one looks at that. <laughs> And, uh, and and then we will try to use LinkedIn as much as we can to 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 spread the news that we moved to to Zoom. Um, but the links need to be uh, updated. I I I see that the, there's a uh, the the Zoom the sorry the passcode. I got it the passcode. I didn't know that we needed the passcode. Okay. Sorry, guys. Again, today is going to be a little um, confusing. Um, um, Mark, did you manage to, to make your uh, microphone work? I think so. Can OK, yes, 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 yes. We can hear you. OK. Uh, so do we want to give a game, keep the update about the, um, your uh, work group? Yeah, so last time we met, um, we kind of went over what equipment um, is going to be in that room, very rough list. Um, I believe there were still some open ends as far as um, the heat, uh, the receiver side of it, you know, are they responsible for the pump, just exactly, you know, how we're doing that. Um, that, we have another call, I believe, in about a week and a half, um, going to kind of, you know, finalize what, not finalize, but uh, more discussions as far as what equipment, who is responsible for, um, where the boundaries lie, and we're putting together some 3D models to kind of get an idea visually of how that's going to look. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Yeah. So just... As a reminder, there's another uh, there's another work group that has not started yet, which is the total cost of ownership, and we are looking for volunteers if you are interested in in in, in that. But the legislation and and design are definitely the, the most advanced uh, work groups that that we have at the moment. That they've been doing a fantastic job. Um, the other thing that 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 we have been doing is trying to update the, the heat reuse map. And I'm sh quite sure that the people here, most of you are familiar with the with heat reuse map. Um, it is not very easy to find uh, updated information uh, about the project. Uh, websites are not always uh, updated and <laughs> say they have, they have the, the latest. The Netherlands uh, he, uh, the, the data center uh, group sent us actually uh, a, 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 they sent voluntarily an update about, about all the projects that that was fantastic and this is what we would like to achieve eventually but we are not there yet just to keep you uh, uh, updated and um, I have a, actually I, 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 I have a, a 
question for Angela if if she is um, able to talk. I am. You Good are. Good afternoon. Are. Good afternoon. I'm here. <laughs> so you had a presentation uh, uh, recently about the the trajectory of the two phase uh, immersion cooling, right? We did. Yes. Well, with Camoras on the liquid, is that the one you're referring to? Correct. 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 Which I which are trying to join, but I actually wasn't able oh. to <laughs> for technical reasons. Um, um. There might be a recording I can send. It, that would be very helpful. If you could send a recording, that would be very helpful. I, I would personally, I, I would love to hear. But could you maybe give a very brief update about what was your conversation, the, just the gists? Because, of course, the two-phase immersion will allow a lot of heat reuse. Um, sure, we can certainly talk about that. And there was, sorry, I don't know if you can hear it. There's a jet going over my house right now. I cannot hear it, but yeah, I know okay, the others. Good, because it's slightly distracting. They do it every every morning. But anyway, um, so uh, uh, let's see. The webcast, I'll send you a link, uh, Cosmo. And also a press release by Comores went out on the 31st. And it's talking about a, a two-phase specific fluid, um, two-phase immersion specific fluid that they developed called Option 2P50. Uh, and it is a uh, low GWP fluid that uh, they believe uh, that is um, very, uh, doesn't really meet the, the strict version of PFAS. You know, PFAS is a complicated topic. So yeah. Um, but Brandon does a really good job uh, in there talking about, uh, you know, the bio, how it's not persistent, uh, the biodegradable uh, attributes of the chemical. So I, I would recommend that you, you take a look at it. But in a nutshell, it was uh, talking about really the, the where two phases going for those that don't know about it. Uh, and the announcement of this liquid, which was really kind of the big news for for folks in this call. So, yeah, yeah. And do you see it? I, I know. I, I don't want to put you on 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 the spotlight. Um, but do you see? First of all, maybe you want to introduce yourself briefly. Not everybody maybe is aware of yeah, what sure. you're doing. No problem. <laughs> Happy to do that. So Angela Taylor, I work with Liquid Stack. Um, and for those of you that don't know Liquid Stack, we're a liquid cooling company. Right now we uh, have a two-phase immersion liquid cooling. Uh, we've been around since 2012, started out in crypto, have deployed immersion cooling at scale over, you know, since, since we've uh, been founded. Uh, we recently rebranded from Allied Controls, which some of you may recognize that name, to Liquid Stack a couple of years ago. Um, and yep, I joined the team as the Director of Strategy. It's been almost four months now, which is kind of crazy. Previous to that, I worked at Intel for almost uh, nine years. And I knew many folks on this call from uh, from that work at Intel, where I led a initiative uh, that was looking at developing software for heat reuse um, within liquid cooling environments. So, just a little bit about my background. And the reason why I put you on the on the spot is is because what 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 your company has been doing is probably. As, as far as I know, is the is the most advanced and 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 probably the largest uh, installed base of two phase immersion cooling. Agree. I would I would assume right. Agree. Yeah, liquid yes. stack. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, yeah. So, I, I again, I don't want to take advantage of you that you are in in in, in this call, but uh, I have a question. Let's say if there's only one manufacturer of that fluid, though it might be. A, a little challenging. Do you see this being a trend or yes. it's a little too early? Uh, no, I definitely see it a trend. They're not the only liquid. So when 3M exited that space, uh, you know, it was up in the air as far as, you know, would it just crumble or would others kind of come in and fill the void? And no, others have definitely come in to fill the void. Right. So 
Um, while Comores is the first one uh, to make the announcement, they are not the only ones um, in development. So I would expect to hear more over the coming months from others. And last question, I, I, I last ask actually, if you if you if you have that link for that uh, recording uh, at hand, if you put it in the chat for for the other people to to listen to that, probably would be appreciated. Sure, um, I definitely have the press release, so I'll put that in. Yeah. And while we're talking, I'll, I'll look for that. So thanks for letting me uh, talk about this. No, I, it, I mean it's it, 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 it again a uh, two phase every kind of liquid cooling is going to be a booster for for heat reuse of course that is comes without saying any kind but what happened to do phase there was a, a, a few projects that that were looking very promising in terms of heat reuse you using two phase and and when 3m uh, pulled out uh, put a, of course a big freeze on those projects so we hope that that they actually they go back yeah i, I see the post uh, thank you very much uh, George, I I see that that you joined. Um, any eight uh, about your work? Um, I'm working with Mark Smith and they on the um, heat reuse um, room. So I think he spoke about that already. I don't know if yes. the project. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Sorry. Um. I don't know if we want to uh, open. Um... Sorry, I'm. I'm. I'm again. I'm. I'm. I'm distracted with 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 the go to meeting. Um, do we want to uh, open a new uh, topic for this call, or since it has been so challenging and there's a lot of people that between the fact that it's August and all Europe is on vacation, of course, and and the challenges with the between meeting and zoom uh, we don't have that many people um if you don't have any specific question i think that we can actually uh, uh, close this call as it is right now we will regroup in two weeks with a better communication uh, about the zoom uh, connections and and we will uh, have a, a more structured update about the 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 work groups any any feedback about that are you okay? I think that works. Yep. So, David Gardner, uh, 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 George, and and Mark, thank you very much for your uh, continuous effort with the work groups. I'm I, I'm sure that 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 we'll we'll have a very nice uh, set of information available for for everybody out of that. And uh, I'll see you in two weeks. Thanks, Cosimo. Great. Thank you. Hey, I'm Angela. Thank you very much. Yes. Sorry, um, can I reach out to you um separately about um a, a liquid cooling um work stream? Just one meeting, just to get some oh, feedback on liquid stuff. Of course. Of course. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll I'll hit you on LinkedIn. Yes. All right, thanks. Yep. Take care. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.